No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Charles Hayne. I'm here at the Vitech Creative Solutions booth at NAB Show 2018 for No Film School, and I'm talking to Greg. How's it going, Greg? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing all right. So this is an unreleased product, but you can show it to us. Yeah, so what we're showing here is uh, a few products that are already shipping um, with a new feature set that is basically coming off the line right now. Um, it's the small HD focus receiver. So it's a super lightweight, affordable um, wireless monitor. It's a five inch touchscreen bright monitor uh, with a built-in Teradek Bolt 500 receiver. So it can connect to any Teradek Bolt 500 transmitter, work alongside other Bolt 500 receivers. And then uh, we've got the Teradek RT Mark 3.1 wireless lens control system. So you've got focus uh, focus knob, iris, and zoom control, 5,000 foot range, super robust wireless signal, um, and, and really super nuanced fine control um, brushless electric motors for the controlling of the lens. Um, but what is unique here that we're showing is the interface between the hand controller and the monitor with a really cool on-screen display which shows lens mapping, which is a, a feature that we've been working on in our software development. And now we've got it working together between the Teradek lens control, the Teradek wireless video, and the small HD um, high bright monitor. Um, what's cool about it is that now we've got a really, really nice um, mathematically accurate lens control or lens mapping function so you can take any any cinema lens or any lens at all map out the the focus distance marks the iris and the focal length marks memorize them into a hand controller and then it'll line up with a pre-printed lens ring a uh, knob ring so for different minimum focuses depending on what kind of a shot you're doing or the lens you're using you can use different rings whether it's a really close-up shot or a long shot, with, with, which needs a much further uh, minimum focus distance. And then the same information that you'll see on the ring and on the lens is now being able to be displayed, overlaid on your wireless video monitor. So you don't have to look at three different places at once. You really only need to look at your screen and you know, the distance between the subject and your camera. Um, right now we've got you know, focus on the right, iris on the left, but what we're going to be adding is the ability to move in different places or just give you the actual focus distance value. Um, we've also got depth of field calculation built in, so you can see you know, these two little lines will tell you, you know, your near and far um, depth of field range as well. Um, oh, so as you cl focus closer, the little yellow lines are going to get closer yeah, and closer yeah, together? Exactly, so your depth of field will be calculated. If you really want to get specific about it, you know, essentially this will become a depth of field calculator device too. Um, even though you've, we've all got one of those apps that, that tells us that too. But it's nice to be able to enter in your uh, circle of confusion, even if you don't always, even if it's confusing, the nice thing about Circle of Confusion is if you're working on an iPhone, you do have bigger depth of field than if you're working on a 70-foot IMAX screen. Exactly. So you might as well have that math in there so you know, oh, this is finishing mobile, sure. I don't have to worry as much. If you already own the the parts, this is just going to be a free firmware upgrade? or Okay, so right now, this is a technology demonstration. So the Mark 3.1 is the existing line of wireless lens control hand units. Um, it is not capable of storing more than like two lens maps in it. Um, we have a new line of hand controllers that are coming out that's going to have a new uh, larger knob with better pre-printed lens rings and uh, more hardware capabilities. And that's the what we're showing here, which is the new single channel system. So it's going to be um, you know, between two and three thousand dollars for one of these and you've got a really nice adjustable tension knob, larger rings, uh, backlit, 
focus indicator and the same super long range. And this will work w fully with lens mapping. So it'll come with a bunch of different pre-printed rings, like I was saying. And it will work totally inter interface with all the existing products. But now we're going to allow it. It'll, it will be able to load tons and tons of pre of, of lens maps. And then eventually a three-channel version will come out with a lot of lens maps. Yep. So, you know, obviously that's the next step is to, to create a three-axis kind of next-generation system, which is Single channel works. maybe this year, though? The single channel will be shipping probably within four weeks. So oh, wow. This is done. It's just this is the first one that was done. So uh, the monitor is powered off of a Sony L-Series battery. So this, this is an Anton Bauer... Um, NPF style battery which will power the monitor for a few hours at a time. The hand controllers are powered off of an LPE6 type battery which will last you know three or four days which is a, a super low draw system. Great and then what's what's going on with the motors? So this is our new super speed motor. Um, it's kind of along the lines of these the new hardware series from RT which is Super high torque, really fast motor. It's it's as fast as any any uh, lens motor that you'll find in the market, or faster with just as much torque. It's got loop through um, connectors on it, so you can daisy chain along a lens without having to have three cables always going back to your driver unit. Um, it's still really lightweight, so it's 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 a bit lighter than or it's a bit heavier than um, the lightest weight mon uh, motors you'll see out there, but way more torque than pretty much anything other than the heaviest motors. Another cool feature is it's got a quick change gear so you can just snap the gear onto the other side of the motor um, in case your, lens, your motors are too crowded. Um, just pop it off and stick it on the other side without using tools. And um, it's just barely larger than our existing motors and um, it's only about 230, 220 grams, so super lightweight. When will this come out? Uh, same thing, about four weeks, so shipping in May. Price point? This will also be between, you know, $2,500, $3,000. And this is, this is uh, one of the best, maybe the best lens motor you can get. Another one last cool feature is that it has um, lights to that will let you know which axis it's set to and a button that you can click to select focus, iris, or zoom uh, axis on the lens. So, Oh, it'll let you know what it's paired to on the exactly. home device. Oh, that's super useful. Yep. That's really nice as you're setting up. So I, uh, I just saw from the press release you also have a unit coming for Venice. Yeah, so we announced Monday, I guess, the Sony uh, Teradek Bolt for Sony Venice, which is an implementation of our you know, world-leading Bolt lineup, which you can get in all the different transmission distance ranges, 500, 1,000, and 3,000 of the current generation. And it, it will sandwich directly between the Venice and any recorder that you have connected to the back of the Venice. We're working with Sony to implement a 144-pin um, pass-through data um, platform. So basically all the data integ integrity is maintained. Sony is designing this board with us so that they're totally signed off on, on the raw data and, and everything else that'll go from the camera to their recorder. And then we are building our transmitter platform in there as well. So you can just seamlessly integrate a transmitter without any cables, video power um, getting into your mix. And it's still a pretty compact form factor. Um, awesome. When does that come out? So we're looking at shipping this in the summer. Um, check us out at CineGear if you want to see some working models. And about the same price point as your normal bolt, bolt transmitter? Yeah, right around the same price for the 500, uh, 1000, and 3000 XT model transmitters. So, yeah. Awesome. All right, Greg, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So this has been Charles Hain for No Film School at NAB Show 2018 talking to Teradek. Thank you. Thank you.